Hello, Adrian Corbold, accredited specialist in wills and estates of Temple Hill lawyers. Uh, we often get asked quite a bit how to get a copy of a will. A will is a very confidential document to the person who makes it. While they're alive, only the person who created it can feasibly get a copy from the person who holds it, which is generally a solicitor, um, and if they hold it themselves, then it's confidential to themselves. Uh, it does not become a live document until the deceased dies. Up until then, it can be changed multiple times. After someone dies, however, then there are quite a few categories of people who can obtain a copy of the will. And whoever holds a copy of the will must give those categories of people who ask a copy. So frequently solicitors hold the original or even a copy of a deceased will and if they are requested by these category of people I'm about to tell you, they must produce it. Just as if any person, an executor, friend who holds a copy of a deceased will, they must provide it. And it's not an option, they've got to do it. If they don't, they can be sued and a court may make an order compelling them to produce a copy of the will. So who are the people who can successfully request a copy of a deceased's will following death? Uh, the main categories are spouses, children, uh, anyone named in the will, whether they're a beneficiary, executor, um, or if even if they've left no provision but they're named in the will. Anyone named in pr earlier wills uh, can get those wills plus any later wills. Anyone who would benefit from the deceased estate on intestacy can get a copy of the wills. So intestacy is when someone doesn't leave a will um, and their estate is left in accordance with a formula in the Succession Act. Generally, the spouses, the children, if there's no spouses or children, uh, it goes down a long line. Parents, grandchildren, uh, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, but it only applies to those category of people who would benefit under intestacy. Uh, those who may have an equitable claim on an estate, such as those making family pr provision claims, uh, they can be included. And as we discussed in another video, that can reach out to dependent grandchildren, people who live as a member of the household with the deceased, um, carers at date of death, de facto's at date of death, uh, and also the parents or, or legal guardians of minor children who would benefit under in a testacy, and also those who hold uh, guardianship of other minors. Uh, so as you can see, there's quite a large range. Um, so before death, no one can get a copy other than the person who created it. That even includes uh, an attorney, someone who holds a power of attorney, cannot request a copy, or if they request, uh, they won't be given a copy. Unless it's, unless their inquiry is to do with the sale of real estate during the deceased life or other significant assets. Post-death, the long list of people we described, which are detailed in section 54 of the Succession Act. Uh, to get a copy of the will, another way is if probate has been granted, um, and that's a separate video that we'll, we'll talk about, if probate's been granted, it's there's a requirement since to 2013 for the executor to make an application online to say they're applying for probate, um, and within that there'll be a contact detail, generally the executor or the executor's solicitors, um, and uh, a successful applicant can contact them that way. Or, as is a very little known fact, once a will is probated, it becomes a public document and anyone can get a copy of the will by application to the Supreme Court. Thanks for listening.